Arnold Schwarzenegger. What a guy. I remember I got a call from Joe Weider. This was uh, 40 some odd years ago. He says, Arnold is in New York. He wants to meet you. And I said, Arnold? He was nobody then. Didn't make a movie. He was nothing. Joe had got him from, Joe saw the potential in Arnold. And I said, Arnold, I said, I, right. Joe said, yeah, who cares anyway? Because he's uh, going to be in New York for a while. And he liked to meet you. going to be in a radio program. I said, okay. So, um, I invited him. I live, was living in Inglewood, New Jersey. And I invited him into my house. And you would think Arnold was already determined to wake up. He is a piece of work. So Arnold comes in. Hey, Leroy, boy, that shot you got like the, oh, I need to rip my arm. You know, I said, he says, um, uh, then he sits down, plopped down in the, in, in, in the chair and broke the, <laughs> broke the base of the chair. I said, what is, where are you coming from, man? Because I really, be honest with you, I thought, no, I didn't, was, I didn't take a lot of him, you know, at the time. He had that big, thick accent, and he was acting like he was the, the king of the world. And, uh, but yet, it wasn't offensive. And he says, and then we sat down, my wife cooked dinner, and we sat down eating, and he, Arnold's maybe 21 years old then. And he says, I'm going to be a star. We all laughed. I laughed so bad I got a pain in my side. Because here was a guy, at that time, bodybuilding was still looked down upon. Still was like a cult. And here was a guy with an accent you couldn't chop with a knife, big and, 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 and loud, and he's going to be a star. I said, star what, Arnold? I'm going to be a movie. I said, Arnold, they got all the U-boat captains. They're already cast. Now, U-boats were the German submarines, and the captains were U-boats. They called them U-boats. And, and, and the captain, uh, you know, was a German, you know, and I was, like, playing around. And you know what I like about him? His skin is so thick. I mean, you don't embarrass Arnold. Arnold has so much self-confidence in himself. Him and I used to be at it all the time. That's why I used to, I enjoyed being with him. And, but at that time, I was like annoyed with him, you know, but not really annoyed, but like saying, this guy, I really thought Arnold had a little problem psychologically. <laughs> he, he didn't mention politics. He's talking about how great he was going to be in movies. I tell you, I admire so much this man's self-confidence. The feeling that he has that he can conquer all and that he can, he can, you know, I always use this like an expression of how, how Arnold has this feeling that he can always outwit you mentally. Like, I say you two guys in the North Pole, Arnold's there, you got one coat. Arnold has so much confidence he can talk you to you, for him to use a coat, you freeze. Of course, that's just, a, I'm just giving an idea how much confidence he has in his own ability to seduce and get people to do what he wants to do and uh, so him and I used to be at it all the time I mean if you look on my website you'll see pictures people caught on impromptu him and I argue but not arguing you know in an angry manner I'll never forget now here we are all judging this contest Arnold's the youngest fellow much younger than us and I said the balls Arnold has I mean I admire now we um, we judge the contest so Arnold gets up picks up the scoring cards and start going in the back. I said, where are you going? Oh, I'm going in the back to add him up. I said, you going to what? All those assholes sat there. When you take over, people let you take over. I couldn't imagine all these older judges, some of them were all older than me and Arnold, and they sitting there allowing Arnold to pick up the, this is the balls Arnold had. No, uh, 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 but he's sitting among all these older judges. No, he don't feel like he's a, uh, He's in, this is Arnold. I mean, he picks up the scores. He, he's going to back to add a club. I said, you good? You got to be. Who the hell are you? <laughs> you know? And he said, don't you trust me? I said, no. <laughs> no. Who I trust you? <laughs> I mean, that, that. so all the judges got up there. Then we went in the back room, and they took the court of everything in the back room. And I just say, I just, Arnold, is, I've known him. He's been a friend of mine for Oh, over, way over 40 years. And and when he see me, he gets that big smile because he knows, I hate that some people aren't into astrology, but he knows you don't run over me. When I, when I, I'll, I'll give you the shirt on my back, but you don't run over me, you know. And I don't know, and he admires that. It was an old story, a quick story. Arnold has contempt for people that don't think it's stupid. One guy came to Arnold, what's the secret to building muscles? So Arnold was playing with him. Arnold said, you know what? 
get some walnut shells, grind them up, take five tablespoons of, of, of sea salt, mix it up and drink three times a day. The idiot did it and got sick and had the gall to go to court and sue on him. Of course they threw it out. But that Arnold said he was explaining that a dream. Arnold said he was just trying to, you know, mess with somebody. You mean tell me the magic drink. But, you know, he was just playing his, um, you know, how Arnold is. And um, uh, uh, the guy sued on him. And, of course, uh, they threw it out of court. You know, he had the nerve to sue. So he, so stupid. I mean, somebody tell me that, I laugh in their face. Now, when Arnold had his restaurant in, in um, the marina, I was sitting there talking to, to some of the guys, and so Arnold comes in the restaurant, and I'm sitting there, and Arnold hollers, Leroy! And everybody turned around looking, who the hell is Leroy? <laughs> you know, I felt good about it, because Arnold was a big man then, you know. And he came over, he hugged me and all that. I felt good, because he was, uh, I knew him well, and, and it, it made me feel good that he respected me so, because I didn't let him, Again, Arnold had contempt for it, where he use you if you have you worship him, but he doesn't have respect for you. I mean, I, you know, I, I I respected his accomplishment, but hey, buddy, I'm not going to bow down to you, and he knows that. And he hugged me to people, and I felt kind of good because people were looking at me, trying to place me. Who like that? Look at me. I'm nobody. I've never done anything that, you know, needed, that, that was not in the bodybuilding field. That expression never heard of me. But everybody knew Arnold, he's a big man then. And I uh, um, felt very good about him. He's a good man. I'm not knocking him. He's a good, he's, he'll, he'll, he's a, but Arnold is a very driven man. And the decisions he made is to build Arnold. That's why I am with all these people all excited, but I don't know Arnold about him becoming governor. I said, Arnold, I'm not coming to governor to help you. Arnold, come to governor for his ego. <laughs> I know Arnold. You know, now he had one of the lowest approval ratings of any governor leaving. Not that, but hey, he's governor. Something that I never dreamed. I mean, when Donald was at my house, he was nobody, never won a contest, anything. And I felt sorry. I thought Arnold was going to be one of them beach bums lying to himself, you know? And you've got to respect that. You've got to respect it. To this day, I mean, uh, I was having a little problem facing him for all the time now, but you know, we all, you'll be glad he's around to face him. But that's uh, the, the story I, I have with Arnold. We never did train much together, just uh, here and there we did a little light training at Gold's Gym together as I, we got old, not when he was younger. But I have the utmost respect for him, even though we used to clash, I mean, we clashed a lot. Because Arnold liked to take charge, I love that, that thing about him. He figures. He can take charge or allow him to take charge. And if you allow him to take charge, he's going to do it. So that's my take on my good friend, the Terminator.